Good morning, so we are at a job today and we're doing a drone flight and a traditional topo survey using GPS. We're probably going to put some stations in as well. I'm here with the lads from PQS. Let's get the drone up in the air, get a survey, show you guys exactly how to do one and how to process it. So, just connecting to the internet here. Um, take my phone off aeroplane mode. Um, personal hotspot. So basically you're connecting um, this to personal hotspots that then connect to the drone. Uh, let's go through the settings. Okay so what we need to do now is um, actually tell the drone which position it is. So it's got GPS and RTK which is talking up into the sky but it doesn't actually know uh, which way it's facing which is why you have to do the calibration. So in the DJI fly app we're going my missions and it'll come up with this error message up here. Uh, compass needs calibration. So we click on sensors, compass calibration, and then we have to calibrate the drone. This is how we do it. So whilst I am setting up this, Charlie uh, is walking around with the GPS and we've actually set up three ground control points. It's quite a small area. Um, but we think, you know, it's better to do more than less. All right, so we're all set up now. Um, we're flying at 30 meters. Okay, so we're about um, about halfway through the flight now, and uh, things are going well. The wind's kept low. Pretty good temperature today. Um, so we're doing a cross hatch, which basically means across this area it's going to be going backwards and forwards and then this way uh, at an angle it's catching in all directions which means we get more accurate survey data. All right so we've got a 205 photos and a flight time of 12 minutes, 19 to 20 satellites which has given us some good information, 58% of battery left and she's coming in, she's coming home. <laughs> Right, tell us what you're doing today, Charlie. Uh, just a quick topographical survey. Um, get the trees, hedges, boundaries. Um, yeah, got a bit on GPS and a bit on the robotic. Just did a hybrid resection. It's got a nice big field, so it makes it nice and easy. So it is important to know that um, you are probably going to get more accuracies on grass doing a, tr doing a traditional topo. Um, having said that, Information from the drone is still going to be able to use because uh, the grass isn't very long. There's a millimetre in it because it's been um, cut recently. You, we need to spot level this area of land, so now we're doing like a 10 metre grid. And what you can do on magnet field is you can survey two spot levels in and get that to create a grid so you get a nice straight grid. So it tells you where to pick your points up. Well, you can just basically follow the grid lines, yeah, and, and survey a point in the middle. Ah, so it's not just pacing out the old. Or using method. ranging rods, no. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. a bit a bit more accurate. Well, it won't be a bit more accurate than that, but it saves you moving it about and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to set up some grid lines because we're going to do some spot levels on this big field. So you want to start, and I'll just go sur survey two points where I want the grid lines to start. And we'll run them off that, so I'll be back in two minutes. Got the M set up, grid lines, so you want to display your grid, and then it's click this button here to get your azimuth to point. Mm -hmm. So then you just go on them, oh, it's probably easy actually, go on the list and um, go to the points you just survey. So I'll just call them grid one and grid two to make it easier. Like that. Two. And then you set on there your 10 metre by 10 metre grid. Uh -huh. And then just pops it on there for you. Nice. So then you can just pop on every corner, which makes it nice and easy. So that you know you're getting an accurate topo. Yeah, and just uh, makes it easier for, so you're not having to mess about and end up with wonky lines everywhere. Yeah, I wouldn't say I've done on that. A big, <laughs> on a big field. So, yeah. Nice.
and then came the snow. Um, Charlie's almost finished with the uh, survey. There he is there. And uh, I'm going to put everything away now because it's chucking it down with snow. And then we're going to get back into the office and uh, process all this data. Whew, minus two in March. What is happening? Ah, it is so cold. <laughs>